Life goes on as usual in the kingdom. The wise king rules over the happy people. But then, one day... Attention! Breaking news on an amazing story! We have just received reports that someone wearing a black cloak broke into the royal palace. The stranger was fearful and grim and challenged the king's right to the throne. He accused the king of being unable to manage the kingdom and demanded to be elected king himself. Unfortunately, the meeting was held behind closed doors, so... Only I, Swindler Regal, has the right to be your master. I! And I alone. Who can hold a candle to me? <laughs> I found only one mention of the uh, election in our records. It is a strange little book, The Constitution for Dummies, which explains that the person who wins the election is entitled to rule the nation. We cannot allow this pretender to seize the throne. Then we must find someone bold and decisive. Yes! Wise and noble. Yes! Hmm. You shall defend truth and justice and help me win the election. Oh, and uh, take Cedric along. It seems he knows something about this election business. Hear ye, hear ye, residents of the kingdom! Soon, elections will be held to decide who shall be king! The king or swindler, the choice is yours! The royal envoy, Sid Regio, has just communicated his majesty's order to raise all buildings on Palm Coast. Thy royal decree tears them down! In the name of the crown, demolish everything! <laughs> Get rid of that! This is Royal News reporting live. Don't change the channel. Disaster reports are streaming into our newsroom from all over the kingdom. Beaver infestation in the tropical marshes. Cave in in the royal mines. Forest Valley obelisks destroyed. All royal taxes increased. Can it be true that the king has lost his mind and that all of this is his doing? Breaking news, cave in at the gold mine. The foreman is in shock. His entire crew has vanished underground. Rescuers are urgently needed. We're following the situation closely. Don't change the channel. We now bring you an interview with the famous soothsayer from the Black Blimp. I can see it! I can see it! Only two paths lie before the king. If the king remains on the throne, there will be only calamity. But if his opponent wins the election, I foresee prosperity for all. The envoys of the king have become prisoners on the flying islands. Their balloon mysteriously came loose and flew away. It will be impossible for them to return anytime soon. They have devotedly served the crown, but they are doomed to remain on the islands. The royal envoys are returning to the surface. How, you ask? On a beaversaurus! Reporting to you live from the pirate caves. Let's ask one of the locals here if he plans to vote in the election. Let the king vote for himself. I'm not about to leave this bonfire. I can't go anywhere in this darkness. The royal envoys have succeeded in dispelling the darkness and the pirates have promised their full participation on election day. Our heroes. I love the king too. Whoa. We're joined today in the studio by a simple resident of Heaven's Gate. This is what he had to say. Life is getting worse and worse for us with each passing day. Swindler is our only hope. We pray to the heavens that he will be victorious in the election. The poor, poor residents of Heaven's Gate.
News flash from Islandshire. The central bank has been robbed. I don't know how it happened. They literally jumped up out of the ground. They were all wearing masks. An unidentified source has informed us that this is how the king is raising funds for his election campaign. The people of Islandshire are in a state of panic. Another bank robbery in Islandshire. The royal envoy saves the gold. Thanks to their decisive action, the stolen money has been returned and the thieves have been apprehended. Long live the king! We're coming to you now from Forest Valley. Something very unusual seems to be happening around here. The obelisks that have kept the fog in check for centuries have suddenly stopped working. We're following the situation closely. The king's envoys are struggling against the fog here in Forest Valley. Tell us, what is the secret to their success? I just grab a sledgehammer and start whacking the obelisks. Then they light up. So there's no guarantee that these obelisks won't break down again tomorrow? No, what do you expect? I never went to the university. An unprecedented snowball fight took place today. The residents of the Arctic Circle were matched up against a team assembled by the King's Royal Envoy. Today, we're joined by the candidate for the crown, His Excellency Swindler. When I become king, your most cherished desires will be fulfilled, and all your wildest dreams will come true. Down, the king. Long live Swindler. The royal envoy has helped the residents of Heaven's Gate revive their ancient art. Their wondrous flutes have come back into fashion. The residents of Heaven's Gate now melodiously proclaim, Long live the King! Election day is almost here. Let's ask the opinion of an independent election expert from overseas. This election is a simple matter. Just go to the polls and cast your vote against the incumbent. Does that mean you recommend voting for Swindler? Yes, exactly. Vote for Swindler. The race for the throne no is now over. King. Based on the results currently coming, no we can announce that our new Hooray! king will be Bravo! the king. Bravo! The royal Bravo! envoys are truly heroes of the kingdom. Bravo! And where is Swindler, you ask? There he is, fleeing in a balloon with his tail between his legs. <laughs>